Hello, my name's Stephen Knight. The topic for today is finding resources to help you with Acrobat Forms. So this is the scenario, is Acrobat Forms, whether you're using Lifecycle or Acrobat uh, Professional, require people to do things like formulas and calculations and use the action builder and a lot of these things are new to people they're not exactly programming features but closer to the programming environment than a lot of people are used to and so you need a bit of support with this now also uh, my second reason for recording this tutorial is that I get questions from people via my blog and my YouTube channel and I'm not always going to be able to answer those questions in the detail that I would like or that you would like. So what I want to do here is show you some resources that you can use to help you answer your questions. Now another benefit of these ultimate resources is you might have watched one of my YouTube videos and found, look, I don't quite get that. Now what I find is if I look at alternate resources, if I don't get something the first time, is having a look at some alternative resources that might explain a problem slightly differently or a process slightly differently, it just allows you to see things from a different perspective and you might go, as I have myself, you might go, oh, now I get that, I've seen it from a different perspective. So let's have a look at some resources that are available. Now, my first resource that I'm showing people is the Google Plus, uh, and you can join up with Google Plus for free. Acrobat, Adobe Acrobat, as you can see here, have uh, a membership and account with Google Plus, and they post resources. And a lot of this is form related things that they post. So, for example, you'll see here how to create. Uh, PDF forms for mobile devices and if I scroll down a little bit of a way creating forms from existing documents is another topic that they've got links to tutorials now to give you an idea of what you can see there is I've already opened up one of the articles uh, that they link to and this is on uh, acrobatusers.com and this is an article about uh, taking an existing document and turning it into a form. Uh, so lots of good uh, resources there that they publicize through Google+. Plus. So you might already have a, a membership with Google+. Plus. Uh, it's quite interesting uh, and quite useful to do. And I like it. Uh, it's not unlike Twitter, but you get a bit more detail and it's a bit better filtered. Uh, so... So that's Google+, Plus, uh, which you can get by visiting Google. So that's resource number one. Uh, resource number two is adobe.tv. Now, I'm going to include uh, links to all these resources uh, in a blog post at trainascope.com, uh, which you can also get to from my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, so adobe.tv is full of uh, how-to videos and interviews and broader philosophical things about using the various Acrobat uh, and Adobe products. So that's adobe.tv. You'll see a nice little search box up the top right here that you can use to search, or you can go to products and choose your product, uh, and there's a drop-down list here where you can see the full range of products. So if you're doing something with Lifecycle, for example, this will now take me to uh, video content that is related to Lifecycle Designer. And if I go for a little bit of a scroll here, you'll see a bit more. And so you get a mixture of things. There's one there on accessibility. That's very, very important. And not too hard to do if you plan for it right from the start. Now, also here you'll notice at the bottom, we've got a little more episodes button that we can click, and that brings up more content, including a, a good little tutorial there on working with the Action Builder, which if you're not comfortable with JavaScript, that's worth having a look at, because it'll do a lot that you would have once had to write some JavaScript to do, is let the Action Builder do the hard work for you. Uh, so, so that's 
an illustration of uh, some of the resources they have on adobe.tv. Now, what I've also done here is just to show you, I've done some searches before I started recording, and so I've searched here for Acrobat Forms, and you'll see a range of tutorials on doing things with Acrobat Forms, uh, and so some things there that you'll find useful. And if I search for Calculate, now I searched for Calculate because doing calculations in uh, Lifecycle Designer in particular, people find that a bit tricky. So here's an article, how do I do some basic calculations in a form? Now that's actually from the Acrobat uh, X perspective, uh, but that would work with XI uh, Acrobat as well. So lots of good things there you will turn up some results that are not specifically uh, Acrobat. Here we go. Now this is the one, this last result that's just come up here, using scripting to perform calculations in forms, is that's a video on how to use both form calc and JavaScript, or alternatively JavaScript, to do calculations. Now I'll let you uh, find that and go and have a look for it yourself that's es2 uh, but that's for versions of lifecycle designer around about that point that should work for you so uh, so that's adobe.tv just did a little search here before again just on forms and there's things on fillable forms and how to use a form on reader mobile how to edit a fillable pdf form how to handle responses now that's uh, something else that uh, people are often asking about is how do we collect all of the data, dump it out into a spreadsheet. Well, if you've got uh, a few minutes, there's a little tutorial on how to do that. So lots of good things there. Now, so that's adobe.tv and I think at this point we've plugged the living daylights out of adobe.tv. This is again the lifecycle channel. Now you might be thinking, okay, I'd like a book. I'd like a book. Now, I've been able to find a couple of books, one from 2007, which was really, really too long ago, and this one from 2009, which I would regard this as still reasonably current, which is uh, Ted Padova and PDF Forms Using Acrobat and Lifecycle Designer. Uh, it's over a thousand pages. Uh, I'm just looking at this here on my Safari Books Online subscription. And uh, well, actually, it says they're 1200 uh, odd pages. Uh, so lots of good content there. I'll just show you the table of contents. It's fairly comprehensive. It's sort of half uh, Acrobat Pro forms and half Lifecycle Designer forms. So it's fairly comprehensive. Uh, so it talks about form standards and then gets into building your forms with Acrobat uh, Professional and deploying your forms and accessibility. Okay, that's also important. Now, what we're getting into a little bit further down here, here we go getting into Lifecycle Designer and working with Lifecycle Designer, including uh, creating dynamic forms, which is the whole point of Lifecycle Designer, working with tables, working with subforms uh, and security, and working with your data, getting your data out again at the end of the process. So lots of good uh, resources there. They also just touch on the enterprise suite, which is the server side product. What we're talking about here is just purely client side. Okay. Now, so, so there's a, a good book there. Now, for a lot of large corporate uh, organizations, if you work for one of those, have a chat with your corporate librarian. You may actually have a subscription to Safari Books Online and you can get this book through Safari Books Online and use it online. Uh, but it is still around in a dead tree if you need it as a conventional book. Right, now where we are is we're on the uh, Adobe community, the discussion forums basically. Uh, what we have here on the Adobe discussion forums is there is a live cycle section 
and we can see here that we're looking at uh, life cycle designer uh, and the discussion forum associated with that and we've also got a section with frequently asked questions now I'll let you explore these uh, in a little bit of detail uh, yourselves uh, now what we've also got here I've done a little search there's a search box you'll see up in the top right and I've done a search here we go for things to do with calculate a search for calculate uh, we can see the results here and of the results just to get a bit of an idea of the sorts of things you're going to see and the help there are blog posts etc is we have an article here uh, just a bit of a brief overview of the steps for setting up a formula so so that's uh, that's just an example of some of the resources Adobe have via the discussion forums. Uh, well, it's not strictly completely Adobe, it's contributed to by people generally. Now, also, we've got another resource which is acrobatusers.com, and at acrobatusers.com, it has all sorts of things. You'll see tutorials and tips and references to books and DVDs. What we've uh, got here, I've done a little bit of a search already on the search term forms, and we can see uh, various articles. Now this is starting to mention uh, Form Central, which I'll talk about that in a moment as well. So lots and lots of tutorials, uh, mixture of video and other content. So I'll just click an example here and what we've got is an article, a tutorial, that works you through the steps of distributing a uh, form electronically. So, uh, assorted resources there for you to explore in acrobatusers.com. Now, uh, there's also the FAQs, that's just more about upgrading. Now, we were just mentioning uh, Form Central. Now, this might be an alternative for people where the basic Acrobat forms in Acrobat Professional are not enough, but Lifecycle Designer is possibly a little bit technical. You might want to explore uh, Form Central. I think it's got promise. Uh, there's lots of resources here, uh, lots of uh, how-to type uh, articles that they've got here for us that you can explore. Uh, also uh, a sort of template so you can have a look at the sorts of things that they actually provide out of the box for you to use you can make your own as well uh, now the last thing I'm just going to bring up here is just the pricing for Form Central something they've introduced very recently at the time of recording this is their 99 cents a month trial uh, I am going to be taking this up myself uh, I'm just going to leave it for a week or so because a little tip here with trials is don't start a trial when you're frantically busy with something else. Uh, so I'm at the moment uh, in SharePoint mode, but I do want to come back and spend some quality time with Form Central. And I have tried the free trial, uh, but that restricts you from a few features. For 99 cents, you can try the whole product and get a really good, uh, useful experience with it. Uh, so I'm definitely going to be doing that. I'll just bring up the compare, compare or plan features just to give you a very quick look at this before we finish. There we go. And basically uh, with the free trial you're missing out on a lot of the extra bits and pieces with logic for skipping Okay, uh, so if someone has said no, not applicable in a checkbox or a radio button, we can skip some questions that are not relevant. You can't do that in the free. You can do that in Lifecycle Designer, but I'm pretty impressed with how this works, or at least what I've seen of the previews. We can have a look at attachments. Uh, and so pretty much for 99 cents for a month, you're getting the whole product uh, you're getting more field types, uh, all sorts of good things in here, so and more forms to actually uh, 
to try and you've got a bigger limit for your uh, you can have 500 responses whereas the practice that, that free one is a fairly limited at 50 so lots of good features there uh, and practice that, that free one is a fairly limited at 50 so lots of good features there uh, and I'm going to give that a try and do a separate report uh, later on is YouTube itself now you probably watched my YouTube videos and maybe they helped or maybe you were thinking oh, I didn't quite get that well there are heaps of others on uh, Adobe and particularly forms and form calculations so I've just done a search here Adobe form calculations and there are heaps of results of uh, different things on Adobe form calculations. Hello this is Stephen Knight I hope you can use the material that you've just seen I hope that we can help you solve a problem through it or that you are able to do something new that you haven't been able to do before so where to from here if you subscribe to my YouTube channel you will be advised of any updates any additional video tutorials that I put up now I don't get to see your email address out of that so it's perfectly uh, confidential YouTube look after all of that uh, if you visit my blog which is at trainascope.com uh, you'll see the address in the last slide in a moment uh, then you'll find other information there uh, again uh, updates but additional articles that aren't on the YouTube channel uh, also I am available for training throughout Australia uh, if you'd like some training in the subject matter of this tutorial or other things the office suite sharepoint acrobat dreamweaver or captivate uh, please contact me through your firm's preferred uh, training provider i work for all the leading training providers uh, so please feel free to book me via your your hr department and their preferred training provider uh, also uh, if you visit my blog you'll also find a link to my linkedin profile uh, I'm always happy to get feedback from people through LinkedIn so if you've got questions about the content uh, things you want to ask me uh, go to my go to my LinkedIn uh, profile and contact me through there just mention in the contact message what what the connection is that you've seen one of my training videos just so I know that who you are so uh, thank you for your time and I hope you've learned something from the content today.